Albert, I need you to come through right now, Albert. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Can you take this thing down in two hits or less? I don't know if you can. Let's see how much damage this Icy Wind does. Oh my god, it ate it up. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Pokemon Platinum, Randomized Nuzlocke. It's episode 31, and in today's episode, we are still looking for Ryan over here at the lakefront. I forgot the name of this lakefront, but we're chilling here at the lakefront. We're looking for Ryan. If you guys are excited for this episode, and if you guys are hyped, make sure you hit that like button for me. You guys are the best. Now, before we get started in today's episode, I just gotta say the music in this area, absolutely amazing, but I have to turn the volume down on my headphones a little bit because it is very loud, and one thing that you guys let me know in the comments from the last episode, and I didn't even notice this, our Pokemon have Pokerus. Alexandra has Pokerus, Georgie has Pokerus, Albert has Pokerus, Nikki has Pokerus, Laura has Pokerus now, so apparently one of our Pokemon had Pokerus and gave it to the rest of the squad. Now, I think Pokerus is a good thing. I'm not really too familiar with what Pokerus does. If you guys could let me know about that in the comments down below, but apparently it's like a very rare thing. So, it's really cool that we have Pokerus. I think I've had Pokerus actually once before on another Nuzlocke on the channel, which is really cool. Uh, one thing I'm looking for right now is my high-quality H2O, and there it is. Let me just grab that really quickly. All right, we're good. I got it. And that is good, and that is high-quality. So now we can just, you know, get started. I just want to let you guys know that we did have Pokerus, and I just moved forward, and we found Ryan. All right, what's going on, Ryan? Hey, Vinny! What? You finally come along? Now? Slow! Way too slow! Listen, Vinny, see how the rocks are all lumpy here? You can't climb those rocks until you get the Snowpoint Gym Badge. Anyway, I'm off. Team Galactic, I'm coming for you. Alright, so we have to go get a Gym Badge. I guess that's what we're gonna do in today's episode. Now, I don't know how to get to this new town. Uh, Snowpoint City, Snowpoint Town, whatever he called it. I believe... Okay, so it's right over here. So we have to head to the east. So I'm gonna head to the east. Now, we tried to get an encounter in this area in the last episode. Unfortunately, we killed the encounter. What else is new? I feel like that's all we've been doing in this Nuzlocke is just killing the encounters. Here we have a Torchic at level 33. Why are you not a Combuskin yet? I don't know. And you're almost gonna be a Blaziken. Here's an item. We found a Rost Berry. We've been finding a ton of berries lately. So let's continue along to the east. And here we are in Snow Point City. Ladies and gentlemen, here's another item. There's so much, so many items in the snow over here. So I just got back from the gym. I did an awesome arm workout and destroyed my buys, destroyed my tries. I'm feeling really good right now. Here's the gym, but we're not going to go inside of there yet. First, let's talk to you. Oh, I thought you were a fisherman. I was kind of excited that maybe I was going to get a new rod right here, but you're not a fisherman, but I'll talk to you anyway. Candace is teaching me about Pokemon. She says I have to start by making friends with Pokemon. That's always good. You know, it's always good to become friends with Pokemon uh, before, you know, you get good at battling. You want to have that bond with your Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Let's come to the Mart real quick. Let's buy a bunch of Hyper Potions. 73 is a little bit extreme, but I am going to buy 20 Hyper Potions because I feel like that will come in handy once we go inside of this gym. I am going to buy... 15 more Ultra Balls, not 14, I want 15, 15 more Ultra Balls, beautiful, and while we're at it, we might as well buy a couple of more Super Repels, so let's buy 10 Super Repels, and we still have, what is that, $40,000, almost, yeah, $40,000 to spare, ladies and gentlemen, we are swimming in the moolah, so now we can make our way to the gym without wasting any time, and a lot of you guys were leaving comments that this gym puzzle is very difficult, and it's the ice gym puzzle. Oh, is this like the same one in Emerald where you have to... Oh no, I thought it was the one where you have to like walk across each tile and each tile will like crack. But then once you go over the tile and you crack it again, you'll fall through. I really hope that's not the case right now. Um, oh man, but this just looks annoying as it is. Let's just start battling some trainers. Hopefully I won't be in here for an eternity. But I am excited to get a nice gym leader episode up for you guys. Here's a Marowak at level 41. We're going to start things off. I didn't go to the Pokemon Center. That is a rookie mistake on my part. Let's go for the close combat. This will be super effective. This will most... Ah, it's not super effective. You're not a normal type. Why did I think you were a normal type? We're probably going to die right here. You go for Thrash. Can you eat it up, Alexandro? Can you eat it up, Alexandro? Alexandro eats it up, and I really thought we are going to lose Alexandro there for a second. All right, so why I didn't heal, I don't know. Let's heal up Alexandro, and I'm actually shocked 
that Thresh didn't do more damage. Now let's just go for the return, and we will take down this Marowak. I don't know why I thought close combat was going to be super effective on you. If you're not a normal type and you're not a rock type, you're a ground type. That's why. See? My mind works in mysterious ways. I thought you were a normal type and or a rock type, but you're not. Uh, let's... What's coming in? I already forgot what's coming in, so let's just go out to Albert to play it safe. And after this gym battle, I have to make sure that I go back to the Pokemon Center and I have to heal up the squad. So here is Cacturn. Shout out to San Fran. Rest in peace, my friend. You are missed. You are very missed, my friend. Even though you killed every Pokemon that you battled. Even the ones we were trying to catch. Because, you know, you were a nice Pokemon, Cacturn, but you were kind of an asshole, you know? You weren't as much of an asshole as Asshole was in our Pokemon Fire Red LP, but you were getting there. You might have been rival asshole level with asshole. Does that make sense? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about right now, that means you've never seen the Pokemon Fire Red randomized Nuzlocke, and if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check Make sure you go check it out, because that was one hell of a series. Now, I need to go to the Pokemon Center. Is there a Pokemon Center over here? There's a Mart. Uh, please tell me there's a Pokemon Center here. Okay, there's a house. I need a Pokemon Center, though. Don't know what that is up there, but I'm not gonna worry about that. There has to be a Pokemon Center in this town. Every town has a Pokemon Center. Here we go. We're good. Does every town have a Pokemon Center, or was that misinformation? I feel like it wasn't misinformation, but hey, the purple, not purple hair, your pink, the pink haired girl is hanging out in here, so let's talk to her. Oh, burr. Oh, hi, Vinny. Are you taking the gym challenge now? I'm hoping to see Candace soon, but I'm studying, but I'm staying put until I warm up again first. Oh, I thought you didn't get cold because you wanted to train. You should have wore a jacket. I kept telling you. I, I kept telling you in the last episode you should have gotten a jacket. I didn't tell you that, but you should have. Okay. Oh, you should know that Candace is a user of Ice-type Pokemon, but that doesn't really matter because it's a randomized Nuzlocke, therefore she probably won't have any Ice-types. There's a percentage of chance. There's a percentage of chance that she will have an Ice-type, but it's not guaranteed. I really admire Candace. She's so studious. Studious. She wanted to practice against me to learn about the Fighting-type Pokemon. It's because the Ice-type matches up badly against the Fighting-type. Why is there a Psyduck in here just by himself? Gaga! -ga! That does not sound anything like a Psyduck, but... I appreciate that little call there, Psyduck. I appreciate that little battle cry. It's not the best battle cry that I've ever heard, but, you know, it's up there. It's decent. It's decent. All right, so I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. What happens if you hit these uh, giant snowballs? Nothing. You can't really move. All right, so let's come over here, and we'll battle you. And hopefully, once we battle all the trainers in here, we'll be able to get to the gym leader with no problems at all. Here's a Leafeon. I'm going to go for Fly, because this, this should be... A one-hit KO. So I'm probably going to dedicate this entire episode to the gym and all the gym shenanigans. So let's chill with the speed up button because it would be nice to have a full episode just dedicated to the gym. And then after this, we can go figure out what Ryan's doing, get back to the story of this game. And this is going to be, what, our seventh gym badge? Yo, we are steamrolling through this game. It is insanity. I can't believe we're already almost at our seventh. Well, we are at our seventh gym badge. Okay, so are we supposed to break these snowballs? Is that the plan? Okay, so... I just... I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going up, going down, going left, going right. Let's come down here. And that didn't do anything, so let's come around here, perhaps? Nope. Okay, so yeah, you guys were commenting that this place was gonna be a pain in the ass. You guys were like, oh, Vinny, wait till you go to the next gym puzzle. You guys are right. This seems like it's gonna be uh, a pain in the ass indeed, but let's battle you because we haven't battled you yet. And you have a Ditto at level 40. I am going to put you out of your misery. Just go for a return. And Ditto is going to die. Next up is a Shroomish. Going to stay in with Alexandro. And Alexandro's at almost at level 50, which is mind-blowing to me. You know, it's so crazy that Alexandro was basically an expendable Pokemon on our team at one point. When this thing was a Storavia, I didn't think much of it. I never used him. I, I, I never, you know, I never hyped him up. Whenever I would send him in to battle, I would take him right out. Now he is, he is arguably the MVP of this team now. I know there's a lot of Albert fans out there. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite Pokemon on our team right now? I gotta say, like, here's the thing. Alexandro, in my opinion, is putting in the most work right now, currently on the team. But if it wasn't for Albert, we would be screwed. Albert took our team and allowed our team to rise from the ashes. Alexandro, however, is just, you know, bodying everything in his path right now. Both Pokemon do a great job, though. Both Pokemon definitely do a great job. The team in general. We have a powerful team right now. I really hope that our egg will hatch in today's episode. That would be really nice. And again, I have no clue what I'm doing. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to look up 
online how to get through here because this just looks like it's gonna be an extremely difficult task. I mean, let's battle you. Let's see what you're all about. You have a scissor at level 39. Eee! We are ready to take down the scissor. Let's go for, uh, let's go out to Georgie. Let's go out to Georgie, and I really hope that Georgie is going to learn Fire Fang soon. I'm pretty sure it's some level in the 40s where Georgie will learn Fire Fang. You're going for Iron Defense. What does that do? Does it raise your defense and your special defense? No, just your regular defense. So Fire Spin, are you a physical attacking move or are you a special attacking move? I feel like you're physical. Uh, I don't know. Now, I know this is four times effective because it's a Fire type move. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Alright, we have to be careful of this Scizor. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to heal. And I really hope that you won't get a crit again with Slash. The thing with Slash is it has a high critical hit ratio, so we really have to be careful. If this thing gets another crit, we're going to die. But do I really need to heal up again? I'm going to go for a Fire Spin. We missed. How did we miss? What is going on? What is this thing doing? It's whipped up in a Whirlwind? I don't know what that's all about. What move is it about to do to me? I'm a little bit scared. I feel like I should heal. I don't know what's coming. I'm going to heal up just to be safe, just so I'm at full health. I don't think this thing can one-shot me. I really don't think that's the case. A crit slash didn't kill me, so I don't know what the hell's about to happen. Razor Wind. All right, how much damage is this going to do? Oh, that does nothing. Oh, my goodness. I was worried about that. Let's go for another fire spin. Why do we keep missing, Georgie? Open your damn eyes. This better not be a crit. This better not be a crit. That does way too much damage. I gotta heal again. Georgie, I want you to pick up this kill, my dude, but you're just, you're not doing a very good job. Connect. Attaboy, Georgie. We still don't pick up the kill, which is unfortunate. Razor Wind's not gonna do anything to us. Georgie's gonna eat that up, and this will not kill you, but it will get you to a very small slither of, uh, of HP. Let's just go for a bite, and it lived. Thank goodness that the Vortex is gonna kill it. Man, I really didn't think Bite would do that little minuscule amount of damage, but it did. Okay, anyway, Poliwhirl's coming in. Uh, let's go out to... And I forgot that Laura's on the team. Now, yes, Laura is dead. For those of you that are freaking out right now, like, why is Laura on the team? Go back and watch the last episode. I took Laura onto the team because we needed to smash some rocks, and I didn't want to teach Rock Smash to any of my Pokemon that were alive, so I grabbed one that was in, you know, the death box. Just to use it for a little bit of time. It's not an official team change, obviously, because Laura is dead. And the egg is not an official team member yet either. So I have the layout the same that it's been for the last few episodes. It should be Georgie, Albert, Nikki, Alexandro, Wishcash, a.k.a. Xander, and Aaron, a.k.a. The Executor. You dig? That's what the layout should be. But anyway... Uh, I forgot what's coming in. Poliwhirl? Let's go out to Nikki to take down a Poliwhirl, because we are a Poliwrath, and we should be able to take this thing down without any problems at all. Let's go for a double slap, and you have Body Slam. That was a crit, and you paralyzed me. But we poisoned you, which is nice. Uh, let's stay in. Another Body Slam. We're gonna go for another double slap. That was one of those, one of those double slaps there. One of those, well, it hit like three times there, I think. But one of those was a crit, which was nice. Let's go for another double slap, and you're gonna go for another Body Slam. Body Slam is a powerful move, man. Because it has the chance to paralyze the foe, which is nice. You're badly hurt by the poison. Yo, Nikki has a great ability. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to heal up with Nikki. So this episode is definitely going to be very battle heavy, which is very exciting. And right when I'm done recording this episode, I'm going to go upstairs and have some dinner because I'm very hungry. We're having some steak and some chicken tonight. I'm very excited about that. Happy Tuesday, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let me know in the comments how your day was. What did you do today? How was school? How was work? Comment down below, let me know. Cross Chop, why did that do so much damage? We put the Mankey to sleep, which is nice. And we get to level 42. Now again, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Can you help me out? Can you help me out, please? Okay, you have a Magby at level 44. We're gonna one-shot this thing with a return. Beautiful. And now, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do here. This just looks extremely complicated. I'm pretty sure I battled every trainer in here. Um, I'm pretty sure that I did. So what happens if I come over here, now come down? Nothing. Okay, I have to smash all of these... I have to smash the snowballs. I'm guessing that's th that's what I have to do. Okay, I got one there. Can I smash that one? Yes. Can I come over here, smash... I sm How do we smash that one? I guess I don't need to smash that one. I have to smash that one up there, though. So let's come here. Now let's come here. How do you smash that? I guess you have to go from the other side. 
Okay, I think I know what I have to do. I think I know what I have to do here. Um, let's come across like this. Now let's come up here. Go here. Go here. Down. Smash that. Nice. Um, now I have no idea how you smash those. And I really hate when I have to try to figure out a gym puzzle because I feel like I can't focus on commentating when I'm trying to... Okay, so you apparently do it like that. <laughs> oh my god, I just, like, smashed through all of those. That was powerful. All right, now we should be able to go like this. You know, that really wasn't that bad of a puzzle. You guys made me nervous. I thought it was going to be something super intense. But we're here, and we're ready to battle you, uh, Candace, I believe your name is. So this is going to be an exciting battle. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Alexandro, because I think that's a smart play. Level 48, can't sleep on Alexandro. Let's try to get our seventh gym badge in the Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. If you guys are hyped, hit that like button for me. Let's talk to Candace. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. All right, bring it on Candace. And I'm going to turn the volume up in my headphones because this is definitely going to be an intense battle. Hopefully, we don't lose any Pokemon. You have four Pokemon on your team. And you're going to start things off with a level 40 Grimer. And you guys know how much I hate Grimers because a Grimer... A Grimer... Did I say Grinder? A Grimer almost swept our entire team at an earlier episode. I hate these things. I'm going to go for a return right off the bat. Why are they moving so much furniture above me? My family, they're moving chairs around. I, do you guys hear that? I apologize if you hear that. I hope they will stop. But we take down the Grimer with a one-hit KO return, and that's what I like to see. That's how I like to start off this battle. A Mammal Swine is coming in. Not smart for me to stay in with Alexandro, although I do think Alexandro could take down this Mammal Swine with one hit. Do I want to stay in? Do I want to go out to Georgie, or do I want to stay in? I'm going to go out to Georgie because, you know, Alexander does not have the best defenses and I'm a little bit nervous keeping in a flying type against an ice type. So a Mammal Swine is going to come in and we're going to see if we can take this thing down. Now, I am scared that this thing might have a rock attack. Uh, that would be a little scary, like rock throw or something like that. I'm going to start off by going for a set. And it has Earthquake. Georgie, please live. Georgie, I just need you to hang on. I will take you out. Please hang on, Georgie. Please, Georgie, please. <sighs> I should have known that that thing would have had earthquake. But my thought process was, don't stay in with an ice with a flying type because this thing has ice moves. So I went to Georgie because it would have super effective fire type advantage. But then this thing goes for an earthquake. I cannot believe. And now I'm back to square one. Now I'm back to square one. Alexandro, can you please take this thing down? Oh, I am just very upset. I don't think return will be a one hit KO. All right, I'm going to go for the return. We outspeed, which is good. Man, I cannot believe we just lost Georgie. I cannot believe that just happened. Now, you're going for an Ice Fang. We should be able to eat this up. This should not kill us. Alexandro, you should be able to eat this up. Alexandro! That does way too much damage. The good thing is we're going to kill this thing right now. I'm going to go for a return. We're not going to miss. For a second, I thought we missed. I almost had a heart attack. We take down the Mammal Swine. Thank goodness. All right, now, depending on what is coming in next, it can either make us or it can break us. We get 1,396 experience points, which is good. A Reggie Gigas? All right. All right. Um, th this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out to Albert, okay? I'm going to go out to Albert right off the... Oh, this thing has a randomized ability, which means it's going to be so powerful right now. Alright, Regigigas is coming in. Uh, I need to heal up Star Star Raptor. That needs to be the first thing that I do. So let's heal up Alexandro. Man, my palms are so sweaty right now. Knees weak, arms are heavy. You're going for the Confuse Ray. That's fine. That is fine. Do I want to switch out right now? Let's go for the Icy Wind. You're going for knockoff. That shouldn't do that much damage to me. Okay, you knocked off my Lucky Egg. That's fine. Albert, I need you to come through right now, Albert. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Can you take this thing down in two hits or less? 
I don't know if you can. Let's see how much damage this Icy Wind does. Oh my god, it ate it up. The speed fell, which is good. Okay, this thing has color change, which means now it's an ice type. Alright, I'm gonna go for a sand attack. A lot of you might be thinking I'm crazy for going for a sand attack. And I hit myself with confusion, so it doesn't even matter! Foresight. Oh my- I hope this thing doesn't have a powerful moveset. I want to go for sand attack. We snapped out of confusion. Good. I don't want this thing to hit me because this thing has such high attack. It can hit me so hard. Revenge. Oh no. I don't know. I forgot how this move works. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <sighs> this is scary. What does that move do? I can't remember. All right. I'm going for a hyper potion. Revenge again. Is that going to do the same amount of damage each turn? So it's getting me to 60. I, I don't know what the deal is with revenge. I just want to heal up. Don't use revenge. It's going for revenge again. I need to look up what revenge does. Where is my phone? It's right here. I gotta look this up. Okay, that time it did less damage. Let me just look up what revenge does really quickly because I want to make sure that I don't do a stupid mistake. Uh, revenge move Pokemon Platinum. I just want to see what this move does. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, uh... An attack move that inflicts double the damage if the user has been hurt by the foe in the same turn. Okay, so if I attack this thing and I don't kill it and it re uses revenge, it's gonna hit me back with double damage. I'm gonna heal really quickly to get back to full health. And this thing missed. Okay, good. Let's go for another sand attack now. I wanna keep sand attacking this thing so that it keeps missing me please miss beautiful let's go for another sand attack if i can get this thing to keep missing we're in good shape i don't know why we're battling a regigigas right now but let's just keep using sand attack i knew sand attack was going to come through on albert i just fucking knew it i need to go out to star raptor that's what i need to do let me use one more sand attack let me get this let me get this thing's accuracy as low as I possibly can. We are not gonna lose this lock today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's come out to Alexandro because Alexandro can hit this thing hard and let's take down this Reggie Gigas. Alexandro is ready. The battle cry is here. And just to be even more safe, I'm gonna go for a bunch of double teams. I'm gonna raise my evasiveness while I'm lowering that thing's accuracy. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's keep using double team. Let's speed up a little bit here. You will not hit me, Reggie. Get How did it hit me? How did it hit me? Now I'm confused. Another double team. Good. And you connected with foresight. Okay, now it's gonna hit me automatically, right? I'm gonna go for another double team. Okay, we, our evasiveness is sky high right now. You're going for the knockoff and you miss. All right. Are you a normal type, Reggie Gigas? Let me just look what Reggie Gigas' typing is because honestly, I don't know. Call me crazy, I just don't know. Reggie Gigas. Okay, you are a normal type. You're weak to fighting. Do I go for the close combat right now? Will it pick up the kill? Alexandro, let's go. Do not hit yourself. And you hit yourself, Alexandro. And we get hit with the knockoff. This is just... Alright, I'm gonna heal up really quickly. Okay, I'm healing up. You're going for the revenge, but you missed. Can we please connect? We snap out of confusion. Please be a one-hit KO. Please be a one-hit KO. I don't know how high your defense is, but this should be a one-hit KO. And it lived. If it connects with a revenge right now, we're gonna die. Oh my god, this is so scary right now. What are you holding? What are you holding? What are you holding? Citrus Berry. And it missed. Thank goodness. Alright. I'm going for the return. Will a return kill? Please kill. Please kill this thing. We're getting lucky. And we kill the Reggie Gigas! Oh my goodness. Please just have a Weedle left. Pineco, that's fine. Send in the Pineco. This battle was just way too stressful. Way too stressful. Luckily, we're gonna kill this Pineco with a super effective fly right now. You don't stand a chance. Our defenses are lowered because of the close combat, but this will definitely be a wanted KO. I have no doubts in my mind. Down goes the Pineco! We just got our seventh gym badge. Georgie, you will be missed. Rest in peace, my friend. I cannot believe you lost Georgie. Man, I want to hear the jingle. I want to hear the jingle. Where is it? 
There it is! Love that, Jenga. We just got our 7th gym badge. What TM are we gonna get? Now we're able to use Rock Climb outside of battle, which is nice. Not as nice. I just, I can't even commentate right now. I just... It would have been nicer to keep Georgie on the team. Keep him alive. Protect. That could come in damage. That could come in damage? That could come... That could come in... That could... I can't talk. I can't talk. So many thoughts going through my head. That may come in handy, okay? That can come in clutch. I just cannot believe we lost Georgie, man. Cannot believe it. Georgie, you will be missed. Oh, Georgie was so powerful, and he never even got the opportunity to learn Fire Fang. Oh, all right, what I have to do really quickly, I have to take Laura, put you back in the death box where you belong. Look how many deaths we've had in this lock. This is insanity. All right, uh, who do we want to add to the team now? Oh, we're going to put Wish Cash back, of course. And we're going to put Aaron back on the team. And we do have that open slot right now for another Pokemon because Aaron, uh, not Aaron, I'm sorry, Georgie has passed away. I'm just, I'm so flustered from that gym battle. What I'm going to do is keep the egg on the team, uh, in the meantime, and we're going to see what that egg is going to be once it hatches because I really would like to add something powerful to the squad. We might go with something that's in the PC already. We might go with what's ever in this egg. Hopefully in the next episode, this egg will hatch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, there should be an open spot on the layout because, of course, Georgie died. Rest in peace, Georgie. You will be missed. And what's ever in this egg, hopefully it's something powerful. Hopefully it's something we can add to the squad. If not, we'll add a Pokemon from the PC. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go find out what Ryan is doing with Team Galactic. Hopefully we can get some new encounters. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. I love you guys so much. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let's have some discussion in the comments section down below. And I wonder... So Aaron doesn't have the Poke Rust yet. And Nikki... Does Nikki have the Poke Rust? I don't know because Nikki is paralyzed. So let me heal up that really quickly. I'm pretty sure that Nikki had the Poke Rust. Let's just check. Yep, Nikki has the Poke Rust. So hopefully these two will also get the Poke Rust soon. Again, if you guys could let me know what exactly that does, that would be great. Uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of the Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.